Today I'm gonna show you the best all-round drill for any pool player. It teaches you 8-ball, 9-ball, position play, speed control and making the money ball. So let's go! This drill is by the way from Shari Vary Drills Volume 2 for the ICA training system. If you're getting the system in December you're getting this one and 14 more drills for free. And now let's start with the lesson. Alright we're starting with ball in hand and very important I want to get rid of those two balls first because they are obviously blocking the 12 and the 10 ball. My goal now is to get a straight in shot on the 8 ball into the side pocket and for that I'm just going to use that 11 ball with a bit of an angle. By the way, if you're right-handed player, start with the 15 ball and all I need to do for that is just play a center ball. It's not important that we're perfectly straight, all we want to be is close to straight. And I think with that angle I'm just going to follow and try to get the same type of shot on the 15 ball that we just played. Just a high ball with no spin on the cue ball. Turned out perfectly and by the way don't forget to respot the 8 after you've made it. Okay now again I want to try to make the 8 ball into the side pocket, get close to straight but the good news is no matter what angle I'm having we are still able to continue our run because of those three balls on the table. I think here I need to play it right handed. I'm just going to play low with a tiny tiny bit of right spin. Let's check the angle we have. Depending on the angle, we're going to choose our next ball. And we're perfectly straight, so our next ball will be the 12th ball. All we need to do is just roll it in again. Have a nice angle on the 12th afterwards. Not too much angle, not too little angle. This is actually perfect. Now it would be nice to have an angle on the 8th ball next, where we can play the 14th ball. So getting close to straight would be nice. Again, difficult to reach. And that's close to straight. We actually have a nice angle. Well, that's perfectly straight. So all I want to do is just follow and again, keep an angle on that 14 ball. It was a bit too soft but it's still very, very doable. Now I think I'm going to use two rails, use some inside spin going from here towards here and keep the angle on the eight ball where it just can bring the cue ball naturally towards here. But the other angle doesn't matter as well. It's a bit more difficult. All we don't want to be is straight on the eight ball. I'm using left spin, center ball. Ooh, that looks like we're getting, getting a bit too straight. Well, now we have that angle, so we definitely have to go into that rail. And I think I'm going to use a touch up left spin so that the cue ball doesn't go into the 10 ball, but a bit more towards that direction here. Well, that's fine if you don't have to cue over the nine ball. And now comes a really, really important shot because we have to transition from the next eight ball to the one ball. And in the best case, the cue ball would be, well, in this area here where all we have to do is just play a follow shot going one, two rails nicely into the line of the one ball. So let's see if we can actually bring the cue ball into this area. This is a low and right shot. Keep going cue ball. Well, we pretty much ended on the 50 yard line. Now we have a bit of a problem because the cue ball is definitely going to hit too early here. The problem is if we're going to hit too close to this corner pocket, we risk nookering ourselves behind the nine ball. So we would need to hit here. Are we able to do that with some inside spin? Well, it's possible to shallow the angle, hit here. Because of that inside spin, the angle is a bit more shallow, that's possible. We could also go around like this, past the nine ball and end up here. It's a bit more speed sensitive. 
but I think I don't want to use that much inside spin here and it's almost not possible. So let's go this route where the shot itself is a bit more speed sensitive. Good news is I have to use outside spin, which is a lot easier than inside spin. So just a high ball with right spin. And hopefully we end up here. I overhit that one. Can we miss that four ball? Well, now we have a really uh, difficult time. We definitely messed up. But you know what? Let's try to continue. I'm going to grab my jump cue real quick. So you see the problem with this shot was that it's really, really speed sensitive. If the cue ball was just a bit more to the left, then we would have uh, gotten that nice and easy to execute shot. But now we are on a one ball. So I'm trying to jump it in and complete the run. If not, we're going to just continue from uh, this nine ball area where the cue ball is uh, right around here. But maybe I'm going to make the jump, we will see. Well, that was awfully close. One ball jumped off the table, but it doesn't matter. This was actually a really good example um, how much easier it is if you're going into the line compared to crossing the line. So let's continue with this nine ball part of this drill and start with ball in hand or put the cue ball where I try to get it, just pretty much where it is right now. Okay, now very important, I want to have again the right angle on the nine ball. So again, a very speed sensitive shot, but we have no choice. So we want to have the angle where the cue ball again goes towards the two ball. So make sure to over hit the shot instead of under hitting it. And I under hit it, but the reason was that I just caught it a bit too thick. But it doesn't matter, I think still able to draw back. Just keep in mind that the nine ball gets respotted afterwards. And that's tricky. I think we will always land behind that nine ball if we're going for the draw. So we actually have to stun follow into here, use some left spin and get back out towards here. And all of this just because I caught the pocket too thick. So let's try to execute that shot. So high and left spin. Almost too much. Is it too much? No, it isn't. So we got away with it. We are pretty much in line again. And here again, I think I'm definitely going for the side pocket. So I'm trying to get as straight as possible. Just checking where I want to be. We're not straight. So again, you see very often we have really speed sensitive shots. But I think all I'm going to do now is roll it in with follow. Accept the lo longer shot on the free ball. Which is fine. Here again, because um, the distance between the cue ball and the free ball is so long, I'm just going to play this shot in with a touch of left spin. I'm not going to add any low on the cue ball because then I have to maintain that backwards rotation, hit harder and speed control gets really difficult. That's why I like to play those kind of shots with just spin. So a tiny bit of left spin. And we have a nice shot on a nine ball. Just going to roll that one in. Have a nice angle on the four ball afterwards. Almost too hard. This was awfully close, but we still have a shot on a nine ball. Now I think... Now we have a really important shot. In the best case I have that angle where it just can stun over. Straight is really, really difficult, almost undoable. This angle might seem like the wrong angle, but we still have a shot and we are able to get on that five ball. So let's try to get on that side. I think I'm just going to use some left spin and going into the line of the nine ball. The cue ball stops. 
And now we have again a really tricky situation. If I'm on the wrong side, I would have liked to be here. Now I could maybe draw, but I risk hitting the five ball. So I think of the follow, I risk hitting the six ball. So I actually have to use that angle now or that uh, path. Really have to pound it because I'm very straight. The side pockets are really unforgiving on this table. So let's see how this turns out. Stun shot with a ton of right spin here on this shot. That was the perfect shot, perfectly executed. We're getting close to the finish line. Here I think again I have too much angle to hold it here. That's why I'm trying to get to that side. All right, this is just a one rail shot. Play the nine ball in, follow. Maybe a tiny bit of right spin here. Okay, don't want to get too straight on the six ball though. I think that's fine. Now we're really, really close. Now again, it's really important to not end up here. I mean, it's possible with the wrong angle, but it's so much easier if we have the right angle. I have to, bit hard, have to hit a bit harder here to get enough out of the cue ball. And I think that was enough. Yep, perfectly straight. Just going to follow the nine ball in. Don't get straight again, very important. Now we just have the seven ball and the nine ball left. So let's see. Of course, we could try to go for the side pocket, but since I don't have to get position to anywhere after the nine ball, I'm trying to get it here and play the nine ball into this pocket. And a really nice shot on a nine ball. So you saw we had a couple of problems um, in this drill, but it's a really, really nice way to practice your speed control, practice going into the line, practice making the money ball. So a really nice drill. And I wouldn't recommend to do it in this uh, difficult um, difficulty level because it's really difficult. And um, maybe just do the eight ball part do the nine ball part separately and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this drill. You might be wondering where those projections on the table are coming from. Well, they're actually coming from my ICA training system, which is connected to a projector and this is a great system to practice. So here, for example, we're having a drill, but we can also use it to practice on our own. So for example, if you're struggling with this shot in this nine ball situation, what we can do is set the shot up. You see, it shows us the 33 degree cut, also the tangent line, and then we can also introduce targets on the table. And if this is too easy for you, we can also make it smaller. Now let's see how close we actually come to executing this shot properly. And we hit a bit too hard, but you can see we still have a very nice position on a nine ball. If you want to get the system, check out ICATraining.com and make sure to use the bonus code SHERRYBERRY to get my drill set Essential 7 by SHERRYBERRY. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the bonus clip. I hope you've enjoyed the drill. A really nice drill in my opinion. If so, please keep in mind that this drill is included in SHERRYBERRY drill set volume 2 for the ICA training system that you get with the system if you're purchasing the system in December. And uh, nothing more to say, the next video of the December series will follow on the 3rd of December. If you like this video, leave a like, um, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A huge thank you goes out to my sponsors, to every single one of you who is supporting me. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.